Today we're kicking off a new adventure in Out of War, a digging simulation game where the goal is simple, find ore, process it, and make some serious cash. I've sold everything to buy this old mining town, and now I'm down to just a truck, some office gear, and a few road signs and cones. I'll be starting with zero dollars. It's just going to be a tough grind, but with the right machines and a bit of luck, we'll turn this place into a gold mine. Let's get digging. So a lot has changed since the last time we've played Out of War. They've gotten a whole lot more updates coming through where they actually have multiplayer which is in beta, which we actually have the version of right now. They've retextured a lot of the equipment and fixed a lot of the issues that were going on before. So here's our truck that we got. It's a two wheel drive truck. So the last time we had a truck also, but it was four wheel drive. So there's two different trucks we can get. So we're on the outskirts of the mine that's already been kind of dug down since this is an old mine that I've bought before. But let's go ahead and head into the town to see what we got going on. So in this series, I'm not gonna try to make it as a complete role play like I did on the last series. Series. We're gonna have role play parts to it as of some rules Some of the rules that we have is that if we sell anything that's not at a sale point So if we have any wood or anything that we've dug up ourselves We have to take it to the store and in that if we do dig something up We have to put it in the truck here and then take it to the store and then take it out of the truck and put it in the store To make it a little bit more real so not many rules like that. I don't know if I'm gonna to try to do a day or night cycle through it. We'll try to see how the game goes from there. I really don't know how long these episodes are actually gonna be either. So we'll know that once we start getting into it. So here's our little town here. We have the bank here to our right and here's the store. As you can see, I already got some boxes and stuff out here in front of my uh, little office slash house. So let's park this right here. So I need to go ahead and start unpacking my boxes here, but we'll give you a quick little tour around. We have a supporter potty. And then over here's the general store. It's already all stacked up and ready to go. And then over here we have the bank. Now we can build more little buildings like this. So they've added a lot more building materials and stuff to it. So we actually gonna have workbenches that we can use to build and craft our own materials. And there's also missions that we can go into to grab a little bit more money or a little bit more XP. Now I am playing this in hard mode. So any type of loans that I'm gonna get, they're gonna have very high interest rates, but I do have the gas and the breakdowns as normal. I didn't go hardcore into that part yet. So here's our little office building slash house. So I'm probably going to put like a little office down below and then up here I'm going to have more of an area to rest. So let me go ahead and unpack all these boxes and then we can set the office up. We had to move the table and stuff back this way some. But here's our desk. We got two computer screens. We have us a little vending machine here. We can stack up with snacks. We got us a little water machine. We don't have any water bottles in it. So we're gonna have to try to get us some of those. So we have our first workbench right over here and a little store stool so we can work on it. Okay, over here we have our filing cabinet and then another little cabinet. Then we'll come upstairs. So upstairs we have this little foot locker and then we have a couch where we can sit up here and chill. So I do have the expansion pack that has all the decorations. So that show, that's where all this stuff comes from. So this is all the decorations that you can get with that pack. And then like I said before, we have building quests. So these are quests that we need to actually come up and build. Like we already have a company store and a general store. We'll have a quest to do a satellite dish at level 60, we'll have a cell tower at 40, and we'll have a watchtower at 30. And then here's the workbenches that we can do. So we're gonna be able to mine the ores 
and cut down trees so the, tr the trees will go to the workbench and then we can smelt the ore to make a lot of extra little stuff so all the steel plate and all this stuff we can actually make it instead of having to buy so in the long run once we start getting a setup like that going on we can make our own stuff and that'll save us money in the long run so we're gonna have more equipment that we can buy we can actually buy hand tools so we have a pressure washer we already have the light the regular axe the regular pick pickaxe and the regular shovel and the sledge but we could get a fast sledge a fast pickaxe a fast shovel and it looks like they got radios too. So we have all different type of equipment that we can buy for the actual machines. So the machines will break down, so we're gonna have to fix them. So we're gonna have to buy stuff to fix them. I haven't gotten into any of that stuff yet. A lot of this stuff is new to me. So we'll uh, have to look at it when we get through it. And then here's the materials that we can buy. So we got electric parts, plastics, rubber, rubies, so I'm guessing this is stuff that we can actually make when we get the equipment to make it. So in this playthrough, I am not going to be able to buy any of this stuff if I need it. So if I need it to do a quest, I have to find it and mine it myself. So I'm not going to cheat out that way. So that's going to be another role we can add to it here. And then here's all the vehicles that we can use. They are 100% able to drive and actually dig up dirt. I do have a drone already. That's how I was taking the shots from the beginning of the episode. And then here's the two trucks. So this is the truck I have. So we'll maybe upgrade to a full wheel drive truck later on. Like I said before, we actually have quests we can do. We can go these to get extra XP and extra money. Here's where my vehicles are. You can see I can have them and this is where I can get into them. And of course I am the only uh, player playing right now. So the first big thing we need to do is start finding us some ores so we can start getting some money made. We can chop down some trees too if we want to. This tree has been bothering me since its leaves are going into my house. So let me chop this down real quick. This is a new feature that's been added. One chop down, Paul Bunyan. Now it gave me four logs. Then we can take them over here to the store and sell them. Or we can put them into the back of the truck here. So as you can see, this is the road signs and stuff that I have. I've changed the color of the truck and then I took the two beacon lights that were on top of here. And then I also already got me a sale point for later on. And so here we are back at the mine. We might put a couple of these uh, signs up here. And kind of just store them all up here to get them out of the truck. So we'll just stick them up here at the top of the hill. We might put a couple of warning signs down here at the end of the road. No, because this is where we're going to be start working at. And then I'll stick some in other places. So let's go ahead and get this stuff set out. Now that we got the truck unloaded, got the only thing we got in there is the paint and the beacons. We could probably actually sell those later. So next we're gonna come through here and actually try to find us some ore. We got some right here next to the... So we already got a little bit digged out here. So I'm pretty sure that's pay dirt. Yeah, so that's the pay dirt. So the color stayed the same. We come down here. What do we got here at the this might be coal. Yes, yeah, so we got coal right here, which is probably what this one is. And then we have this is probably gonna be coal also. And we come down here, we got some more pay dirt around here. Now we don't have anything to process the pay dirt. So we need to try to get at least some of this coal and stuff set up first. So I'm going to probably have to hand mine this coal out. And then uh, we can try to get enough money at least to get a front end loader. So let me bring the truck down there so I'm not walking back and forth. And then we'll start hand digging some of that coal out. 
All right, so let's go ahead and start digging some of this out. So I think I'm going to keep it at a certain weight. I think at 100 right now. So anytime I hit anything over 100 and dirt, pool, or anything added up, we're going to have to take it over and put it in the truck. So let's go ahead and put this in the truck. All right, let's keep on going at it. Now, since we've been digging, we did hit level two. So we do gain experience by digging. But uh, let's keep digging this out. I want to try to at least get a uh, thousand coal. So we're at 50 now. But we should just be getting into more of the coal instead of the dirt since I was kind of digging around some of the dirt. But uh, let me keep getting into this here. Alright, we're about 600 over halfway done. You can see the big headway we've been making here. So we got a lot of this taken out. We got the edge coming up here. We're almost to the top. I don't know how much further this goes up here. Shouldn't go too much. Well, it looks like there's a little bit right here. So you can see the little darker shade right here. So it is going to come up this way. So I don't know if I got this actually closed off. We might want to put something over here so no one tries to drive through here if we're going to cut this part off. We're going to probably want to eventually get a road over here, but we got some dark patches over here. So who knows what all this is over here? We have to come through and uh, survey it to find out that. So let's go ahead and cut some more of this out to get our thousand things of coal. And then we'll go sell that and see where we are. We're probably going to go and get the faster pickaxe because at this rate, it's going to take us forever just to get enough money to get any type of front end loader. And then we might go and uh, cut some trees down later, and we're going to want to survey some more of the land around here. But uh, that's going to be much later. But uh, let's go ahead and keep getting into this. So I got a little bit more coal than what I planted on getting, which is fine. So we cleared out this whole area. We dug all this out by hand with just a pickaxe. So that was a lot of uh, backstaking work here. So let's go ahead and uh, sell this off and hopefully at least get a faster pickaxe. We'll come down here and uh, show you how much faster that would be. So let's drive on back up. Let's go in here and then uh, sell all this coal. At least sell the coal to see how much we can get out of it. And so we're gonna get $9,837 for that coal. So we made our first profit. Now, since we've been digging, we did get up to level five. Now, let's look at the store here. We wanted to get the faster pickaxe. I don't remember how much that one was. The fast pickaxe was 8,000. So we actually have enough money to get the fast, fast pickaxe. So we can go ahead and buy that. Probably sell our old one for $34. And then we have our boxes and stuff that we can go ahead and sell. And I think we had that paint and those beacons we probably don't need. We'll go ahead and sell that so we can get at least a little bit more money. And then we have this, these logs also. So let's have, look how much all this is going to be. So the beacons will give us 140. Paint, 39. Logs will give us $84. So we have our faster pickaxe and over $1,000 in the bank. Let's sit down there and see how much faster this actually is. Let's see how much faster this is going to go here. Oh, much faster. 
It's like night and day between the two. That's a hundred. Definitely a lot quicker. So we're gonna have to find us a little bit more profitable ore. So there is lithium and iron. I think silicon maybe. Definitely know there's iron and lithium up in these hills somewhere. So uh, we'll probably go ahead and survey and look for that next time. But uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for sticking around as we dig our way to success and out of war. If you enjoyed the journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Because the deeper we go, the more there is to uncover. See you in the next one.